In the module Rocks and Minerals, students explore rocks and minerals with 12 hands-on activities and the Delta Science Reader. Students first examine assorted stony specimens by observing, experimenting, and recording results, and then identify minerals based on their physical properties and perform four standard field tests on 10 mineral samples for luster, hardness, true color, and the presence of calcium carbonate. Finally, students investigate the three ways rocks are made and infer the origins of the kit specimens. As on-site geologists, they collect samples and test findings in the field. Throughout this unit, students become familiar with minerals, or naturally occurring inorganic solids that have a definite chemical makeup and an orderly internal structure. They learn that minerals are usually found as crystals, substances with flat surfaces that form regular patterns and that crystals of a particular mineral will have the same orderly internal atomic structure. Students learn that crystallization describes the process of how a mineral crystal forms from a solution and then grow crystals to model minerals in their own investigations. In this module, students are also introduced to the important field of geology, or the study of the Earth, and the role of geologists, scientists who study the rocks and minerals of the Earth's crust to better understand Earth's history, processes, and structure. They also become familiar with some of the many uses for rocks and minerals, past and present. Students discover that a rock is an aggregate, or mixture, of minerals, and then identify rock types based on their mineral constituents and physical properties. They discover that sometimes rocks are made almost entirely of one mineral, but more often that rocks are made of many minerals. Students also become familiar with classes of rocks, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary, which describe how the rocks were formed. In this module, students also create rocks embedded with fossils and grow salt crystals to model minerals. Students discover that fossils, or ancient preserved remains, are found in sedimentary rocks, and that fossils provide evidence about the plants and animals that lived long ago and give information about the nature of the environment at that time. They also become familiar with the term petrifaction, or the process of converting once living material to rock. In the Delta Science Reader, Rocks and Minerals, students read about the types, properties, and uses of various rocks and minerals. They learn how a mineral's properties help with its identification. They are also introduced to pioneering geologist Florence Bascom and her contributions to the field of geology. Finally, students learn all about fossils.